there, I'm Jessica Sterling. I am a portrait and event photographer based here in Los Angeles. And today I wanted to continue my talk about flash photography. Okay. Now I don't know Canon flashes. I only know Nikon flashes, but I assume that they're fairly similar. As you probably already know, this is called a hot shoe because it's hot. It has uh, these little dots and stuff, which I assume communicate to these little thingies here. It's an electrical connection. This is how your camera and your flash talk. Flashes and cameras are pretty cool nowadays. They can do all these things like with the speed of light back and forth so it can tell how to make a good exposure automatically. When you want to get this off the camera though, how, how are you going to get it to know to fire? Bing! And it's going to make it go bing! I love to use radio transmitters. See it's got like this little metal thing here? That's a transmitter because it's going to go in the hot shoe. And this is a receiver because you can tell it's got a place to screw a stand in so it's going to receive the signal, the radio signal here. Why I like radio transmitters is that they always fire. I like things to always be working, please. You know, if you're always using fresh batteries, everything's plugged in right. If it's in range, it's going to get the signal. Rock and roll. I like this particular kind of model because it has another hot shoe on top here. So you could hypothetically put your camera flash here, be taking pictures of somebody. So this one on the camera is gonna be TTL, right? It's gonna go through the lens and you're gonna be able to say, okay, automatically camera flash, you guys figure it out. I like to set the other flashes, the ones that are receiving a radio signal, I set them to manual. So it's completely disconnected from the whole camera telling it exactly what to do thing. Now, news photographers back in the day, they had to know how far away the thing is that their photographing was from where they are, judging distances, and then they knew how bright their flash was and whether or not they're gonna get a good exposure. It's the same kind of deal. I personally know if something is that far away, I can eyeball it and I think, okay, good. In order to get the effect I want, I'm gonna set this at a quarter, an eighth, or whatever. And you get to know that from experience and doing lots of testing. So you can set it up and you can put it on your stands and see, gosh, that's bright. So these have all these channels and stuff like that. But, you know, if you just set them, set channel one or whatever, set your camera transmitter to channel one. And there you go. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, be sure to like, subscribe. If you have any comments or anything like that, post them below. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life. Thanks for watching.